match was it was best of five. It was game five, and they went pretty much to the last stock. Um, so GSO certainly has it in him. He has the capability to pull it out. But um, this is the real test. Uh, I'm interested to see how it works out for either of these guys. GSO going straight with the the um, wave land back. These two have played in doubles a few times though. Uh, Mancat two and two Saint apparently took it over Billy GSO, which that's interesting. Um, so despite like them not playing in singles much, they played a couple times in doubles, and that's a good near up smash. <laughs> Genesis crew rooting their Genesis boy on. Yeah, it's an interesting match that finally happens, you know, this close to, like, the PR, too. Yeah, so definitely. Um, like, if GSO wins, then it kind of, like, dispels any of the, the issues that he, he had, like, leading into this. Like, same with, like, let's say he just straight up beats Jusay and Spike or something. Or, like, if he loses this and then beats Spike and then, like, just beats, uh, beats Jusay back, then it's a big deal. Beating everybody else, despite losing the last couple times yeah. to a couple players like Pig, which uh, on that note kind of gives gives me not not that great of a feeling going into this because he didn't do well against Pig the last two sets. Yeah. Um. Uh, he's taking games, yeah. but that's about it. Um, like Pig has beaten the secondaries like once, maybe. Maybe yeah, twice. Yeah, he's probably taking two sets off secondaries. Um, but then whenever T Saint brings out the puff, at most he only loses one game. Oh, that's too high percent for the, the up throw up air. gso has gotta learn some percents maybe. Oh. Uh, and that's why he went straight for a down throw right there. Yeah, GSO uh notably gets far more up smash kills than I do in the puff matchup. Um but I get way more up throw up air than he does. I'm just looking for it a lot. So, like, if you compare our sets uh, versus Pig um, as an example, then, like, I get a lot of up throw up air on Pig, but GSO just gets a lot of up smashes. Um, and 2 Saint makes it really hard to get any grabs on him, so uh, it, it makes sense that, like, 2 Saint will do even better against me, too. So what I noticed from Tuesday is that uh, he doesn't rest very much compared to other folks. Like his rests are like usually like like they're like I thought like oh he might have gone for rest there. Sometimes he gets up throws he does it, but he very rarely ever like risks going for them. Yeah. Like, uh, he and the funny thing though is though uh, you say that, but when he was playing against Billy earlier, he got a lot of great rest setups and great rest openings, and Billy just straight up wasn't ready for it. That was one of the biggest reasons why Tuesday just beat him really solidly. Um, like, he got a lot of good conversions in the rest that aren't even very that... they're not even that standard. <laughs> like, back at rest, on the ground. Tuesday had a sick tomahawk where he did the... well, like, he was coming for a back air then turned around and grabbed him. Oh, and that's gonna be enough. That's, you have to take that one. That's pretty much fine. <laughs> That's like, oh, I might as well just take the game. Yeah, I guess. Thanks. Like, I don't know. Thanks for not... Thanks for getting grabbed, one. Oh, you didn't yeah. DI? Great. Easy reaction. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, going for spot dodge. I usually just roll out of there. Um, cause, like, if you spot dodge, Puff could just wait and then still hit you. If you roll out of there, then, like, you're out of there. Oh, I like that bear that Tusain just did there, the placement of it. He got around the full hop and then was still able to, uh, to punish. Um, and that was also a really interesting dash check, <laughs> uh, into the up air. Oh, overshot that, but maybe uh, a little bit farther. Uh, okay. Um, yeah, up smash wouldn't kill or anything at that point. So, super risky to go for. Uh, like, it's not, it's probably not even worth the gam damage it would give you. Oh, just doing a shine day to get out of there. Um, if he got grabbed, though, that would have been a, a much bigger deal. And, like, if you're trying to follow up with shine, 
uh, after like messing something up. Um, it's a lot more dangerous against Puff because like she has up throw rests, uh, especially at those low percents. Um, and shine means you're not going to be DIing for it. Oh, just jab, but nothing after. Dusain also likes to uh, jump out of, uh, like, jab up smash, if possible. Like, I usually get away with jab grab a lot on pig, but Dusain always jumps out, and he's always, like, trying to DI away. Um, so, it just surprises me every now and then, like, oh my god, jab grab didn't work. <laughs> like, you knew. <laughs> uh, like, I forgot that you could have actually done something about it the whole time. <laughs> I'm used to just getting this grab. She's so doing a really good job of it, I feel like, uh, it's like beating him, like, in this aerial game in neutral. Like, he hasn't really gotten hit by, like, many, like, straight aerials, like, two things approaches have usually gotten beat now. Ooh, but that's a big deal. Yeah. Oh. But, uh, uh, at least he got the burn, I guess. <laughs> he's saying kind of close with, uh, going for the invincible bears. <laughs> um, so yeah, Juso is playing a little bit better around Two Saints' aerial game, but... Tusain's still doing some really good stuff when it comes to uh, like how he's positioning certain moments. Like that is not good positioning if I had to say though. Um, just a good up smash out of shield. Just jabbing again, but nothing after it. It's very complicated. Like jump over it and then jab. There's another jab, uh, and it's looking like it's just two. Oh, what? That's a phantom on the the back hit. Might not have killed because it was the back hit, but. Um, oh, we just up smash too. Interesting pound decision though. Oh, Tusain able to catch up to the roll away right there. Scary. Yeah, but a tree there makes it a lot harder for Puff to get any reliable rest setup. But that was great conversion. Oh, he does the same thing in between stocks. He did the same placement of the bear and the double jump too. That's what we get hype over. Lucien's brought it back a long way, it feels like. He was down pretty hard. Oh. Oh, that... If the up smash came out there, it might have killed. That probably would have killed. Like, if up there just barely didn't kill, up smash would have killed. Yeah. Is GSO gonna look for it? There's the, the Nair from the platform. Uh, you don't really get that much off Nair now, though. Like, it, oh, that that's restable. Alright, GSO being a lot more careful now to kind of compensate. Oh. And another one. Oh. oh, we got hype in the crowd. We got the tech away. I was thinking there, that might be a moment for another F smash. Alright, GSO, uh, GSO, uh, okay, well you can clutch it out either way. Tusain showed a little bit of patience, but not enough. And got hit by that up, up air. Yeah, and we're cool. gonna have an interesting set. I don't think GSO like already talking about the jabs. Like, I think he got like three, four or five jabs in the last two stocks there, and none of them really did anything for him. But they did like keep like two seconds out. Oh, go for a uh, just down throw. Oh, uh, messed up the empty hop grab, facing the wrong way. Uh, I like the up tilt attempt. I personally like doing a lot of nair turnaround up tilt when I play Fox against Puff, uh, and also other characters. It's just more reliable, it leads into uh, more combos, because like you just got an up tilt. That's like another aerial that you can do after. And this is a floaty character, so you get one aerial. <laughs> so you get Nair, up tilt, bear. That's it. Uh, up smash, not charged enough to kill. Oh, interesting. Um, I'm surprised that he did that and the, uh, the dash track. Some players looking on really intently. Uh, other players kind of joking around and all having fun while watching. Spike, Spike kind of, <laughs> yeah. Spike turned his head now, so ooh, that's the disrespect, Spike. <laughs> uh, but he is still in losers. Can't. He's not totally out yet. Oh, that's a really important nair placement for GSO. Uh, he caught Toussaint right before uh, a bear came out. 
So two saints should take note of that. Of like, okay, well, he's gonna do these kinds of nares here. Uh, oh, okay. So right there, that was the right percent to go for pummel a couple times and then up throw up air. I happen to know this because I learned that you can up throw up air puff at 67 percent. So I peep at the percent as soon as the the grab was about to happen. I was like, oh, he's at 64. That means pummel a couple times, and then you get him to that kill percent. But two saint able to get that stock by any means necessary. Uh, it does kill, okay. Another uh, just draw up there near the bottom. Oh, shine not that common. Does 5 damage uh, compared to like up tilt which does a little more damage and uh, leads into more moves because shine obviously does not puff. Uh, it could have gone down there. Um, but two saint not as confident maybe, uh, or just messed it up. I don't really agree with the down throw because yeah. I don't really want two saint on the ground near me. <laughs> um, like sure, puff in the air is scary, but you know what? Puff on the ground is still has options. <laughs> oh, he caught the the bear right before what happens, and this is uh, this is pretty much kill percent. That was a good adaptation because he went, he jumped out of the jab, he jumped the up there. Uh, not a great F tilt though, but not punished. Rounds into that, going low, and this time, uh, oh wow, that's a great, that's a great swing in GSO's favor. So yeah, looking, looking to take the two one lead. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I just heard Spike say, "Let's go T Saint." Maybe he wants to not have to play T Saint in the finals. <laughs> <laughs> Who could say, really? And he's probably not feeling too confident playing yeah. against T Saint following how they played in winners, but on the other hand, like, he should be trying to win. Yeah, and he has been GSO so far too, so. Yeah. He's probably hoping for. So, you should try to hope for winning two sets over GSO in grand finals. Oh. And that's, that's gonna do that, so T Saint with a 2 1 lead. This is best of five at Barry. What's up, Barry? <laughs> okay, so uh, what from here? Like T Saint has had slight control pretty much the whole time, but GSO has kept it close. He had some clutch moments like that that tech wall jump side B into. Fox privilege up there. Yep. But like T Saint could have got that edge guard too. Yeah, he's actually dropped like a couple edge guards where Fox has gone really low. Scary situation. Misses the tech again. Again. Yeah, that's a lot of damage. He doesn't even need to rest. Yeah. That's one of the, the strengths of T Saint, being able to convert these into stocks without resting. But oh. that is that's a big danger on this yeah. stage. For some reason, I was expecting something different to happen. Uh, I can't DI that way against Puff, uh, though. Yeah. Uh, you can even do this. Yeah, it's kind of it's kind of disappointing that you can't uh, like just DI that way, and because like, oh well, I mean, I want to not DI off stage because I don't want to DI off stage, and then you just die for not DIing off stage. Puff able to live after that nair. So, T Saint able to make use of the the smaller stage better than GSO so far because like GSO can't get away from T Saint, and uh, what ends up happening is then T Saint also just gets GSO off stage too and takes the stock. But I mean, GSO has got to get the kills. This is why you're, you're gonna go to the stage. Yeah. yeah, at least that does kill though. Oh, drill, uh, not the best thing to trade with Bear. <laughs> Able to spot dodge. Hmm. Yeah, a lot. That was some, that was some smooth puff movement right there. <laughs> I, I wonder if you think about Nair Rest. Oh, that could have, that, uh, that was looking really questionable though. t saying didn't have to go for it. Didn't have to force it. He's got a big lead. Not, not kill percent even on this stage. 
uh, like whatever it was, 30 something. <laughs> um, like I know, I know it's low, but I think it's like 40 something actually, because I've done it around there before. Gio is so, oh. uh, looking like he's reaching at this point. Just yeah, he's got to make something it. happen, but he can't force it. Yeah. Good opportunity. Oh, <laughs> oh. oh plenty of little exchange at the end. Yeah. Yeah, well, good stuff to Two Saint. Looking, looking really strong going into Grand Finals. So, yeah. The, uh...